Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Central Michigan's been hitting on all cylinders the last few games. They've ripped off a string of Ws, trying to extend that streak. But the key is keeping Big Mo on your side. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. We have a good old Mac rivalry on our hands today. These two teams aren't too fond of each other, so this should be an intense one. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Steps out of bounds at the 27 yard line. Nine of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. And he's tackled at the 34 yard line. Game of seven yards. Third down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Smith is back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Central Michigan's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 32. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Tackle made right around the 40. That play is good for eight yards and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Fires out to his wide out. He's pushed out of bounds at the 47. the 47 yard line first down catches it and that's all how about that play that's a good pickup there he just dropped back and delivered a nice throw that'll bring up second and three
man left, man left. Pull down, pull down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Yeah. After positive yardage. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35 yard line. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 23 yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Clark picks up five with the carry. That brings up second and five. Here's the eighth play of the series. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Daniels on the tackle at the 17 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. to the right to the halfback. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Up the middle for a nice game. Justice comes away with five yards on the carry. Second and goal. Just inside the five. Second down. And he's taken down at the three yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. You won't break or that bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Check right, check right. Let's go, let's go. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Looks to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So a 12-play, 72-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Central Michigan's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, Get your offense out there. They move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. That's a great tackle at the 38. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Loss of three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's second down now, 13 to go. 
Ball on the 35. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. is out to the tailback on the screen. Brought down at the 37. Rodgers gains two yards with a short completion. Lott is waiting for the snap. He really got a hold of that one. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Central Michigan is up by a touchdown. Here's the ball for a nice game. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at about the 39 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 39. And down he goes at the 48. Picks up about seven yards on the run. That'll bring up second and three. Around the 34-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 34. Pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. 7 0, Central Michigan. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Central Michigan up seven points. Got some open field. Touchdown, Chippewa. He makes the PAT, a seven-play, 66-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Luke gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback.
It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Sherman with the reception. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Makes the grab. Gain of 12 on the play. First down. He's under pressure. Sheds one tackler. And he's tackled at the 25. Call it a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. And he hauls it in. He's hit and taken down. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. Larry, Larry, Larry. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Hey, he's green down. That's incomplete. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw, and it got away from him. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Rose right, intercepted. Here's an opening. Well, that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play. Right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game, they come up with a big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42. He fights forward to about the 39. know what this one's for let's find out holding offense well if you want to ruin a drive second just grab a hold of a defender's jersey man left, man left. it's second down now 14 to go all on the 46 yard line Scrambling around. They bring the quarterback down. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. They come out on an empty backfield. Slings it. Really, there's not much more the defense could do there. They had outstanding coverage. It was just good execution from the quarterback making the right throw and the receiver going up and making a catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they make the stop around the 23-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he throws it away. Yes. 
They'll line it up again on third down. There's a very impressive open field tackle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchdown! And he adds the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 40-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Yeah, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 33. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Gain of two on the play. First down. Almost picked off. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he shoved out of bounds at the 45. Gain of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. No gain. That makes it fourth and inches. Smith is back deep to return the punt. Booming kick. Central Michigan's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. They'll bring him down at about the 11. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. They'll line up at the 11. It's second down. They bring him down in the backfield. I think he made a late read of the defense there. Quarterback needs to be much more decisive with his option reads. From their own 10-yard line, it's third down. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. And that is going to be enough for the first. You and I talked about him earlier in the game. What impressed me there is he knew exactly where he needed to go to get the first down the whole time. Larry, Larry, Larry. Let's go, let's go. 
Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's tackled right away. Well, that's a big-time play there. And as a quarterback, you're willing to take certain chances with certain wide receivers. You're not going to put the ball into coverage like that very often. But if you have confidence and trust, and you've worked out a lot with that wide receiver, you know what his abilities are, and you know that you have confidence that he's going to be able to come down. Regardless of putting it up in traffic, you're willing to take that chance. And that time, that's exactly what we saw. Pretty good defense the there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 33. They come out in a five wide set. And he hits him hard at the 48 yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He fights forward to around midfield. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. down now and they need to get it inside the 42. Here comes the pressure. Brought down at midfield. Well, that's a big time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Rodgers is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Quick throw, and he's level at the 24. Simmons makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. Third down. So we've played two quarters. Central Michigan in front. 21 nothing. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, at the 30, down the sideline. 
He's into the open field. He finally goes down to the 19 yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Has some daylight. Knocked out of bounds at the eight yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to take a look at the action in Oxford. And for Bowling Green, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. Luke is lined up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Central Michigan's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Makes a first down catch. He's tackled at the 43. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Simmons on the coverage. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43. And a quick throw. First down. Going right. Intercepted. another interception. You know, you look at this offense and they're making mistakes, but how about the effort and the tenacity from this defense? Even with the big lead, they're not giving up. I think they want to continue to blow this team out. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Central Michigan with a big advantage. Makes it to the 47. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Taken down around the 44 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 44 yard line, second down. Let's go, let's go. Caught and he's hit immediately. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Yeah. 
caught. Open field. And he's tackled at the 31. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Big opening. He's at the 20. And down he goes. Right around the 18-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 18. Central Michigan, up by a big margin. Up the middle for a nice game. Justice gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming right, up guys, here. Right. Ball on the 14-yard line. Tackle at the three. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drop. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown, Chippewas. And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he converts the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Falcons arrive at today's game ranked number 18 in the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Falcons continuing to pound the rock on the ground and score a touchdown. Luke ready to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Central Michigan's coaches just got to be happy. I love the coaching kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Goes right. Picked off. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. Boy, it's just one of those days for this offense. Already getting blown out, now another interception. Can you imagine that walk over to the sideline for these guys? It's first and 10. Ball on the 31. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop at the 22-yard line. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Central Michigan, looking to build on this commanding lead here. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. No game. Too easy, too easy. That'll make it third and one. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. No, yeah. 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 He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, first down. Let's go, let's go. Nice play to 
set up first and goal. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Down, eight. Yeah. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So that's a five-play, 32-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Eagles are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for you. And they got him. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. They'll bring him down at the 25. Low with the tackle at the 25-yard line. That brings up third and 10. The senior makes the catch. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. Mike 55, Mike 55. E, 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 E. Check 15, check 15. He throws. Almost intercepted. Barber wakes it up. That makes it second and 10. From their own 41 yard line. Hey, it's second down. Check 50, check 50. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. bring the quarterback down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Smith will be the return man. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40, out of bounds at the 42. We're about set to start things up again. Central Michigan, up big right now in this one. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. Had a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Flips it, middle to the running back. Brought down at the 50.
three down and one to go. Central Michigan's got a huge lead. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully the fourth quarter will turn things around. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 45-yard line, second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He goes down quickly. Central Michigan in control. Makes the grab past the marker. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Nice run there. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. This is the eighth play of this drive. the 12-yard line. It's first down. He's taken down at the two-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They get on the board again. Touchdown. Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 57-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Central Michigan's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. So now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Looks left, finding his tailback. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. That's a gain of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. Nice run up the middle. Personal foul, face mask, defense. So the offense will move a little Still bit closer down. with that penalty. From the 49-yard line, first down. Yeah. 
Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. He's under some heat. Fires it out. He's at the 20. And down he goes at the 16. Robinson on the tackle at the 16-yard line. First down. So the offense back in the red zone here and looking to erase the memory of that interception on their last trip. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. From the 16-yard line, second down. The 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Call it a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and goal. And he hits him hard at the five yard line. We've got second and goal. Ball on the five yard line. Stop behind the line. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio in this update. Reese. Central Michigan will take their first time out of the half. And he's tackled at the 44. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. Central Michigan with a commanding lead. Now he's scrambling. Here comes the pressure. Tackle around the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Gets out to around the 15.
First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. He makes it to the 15-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Smith comes in at quarterback. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And they make the stop around the six-yard line. Third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And he is drilled at the three. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Tackle made at the one. That's a game of three on the play. That brings up second and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Check, check 43. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Yeah, good night. Let's go, let's go. Yo, no. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Central Michigan's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Tenth play of the drive. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Central Michigan up by a big margin. Throws it out right to the running back. Touchdown, Chippewas. Clock keeper just keep it moving for Kirk and I. William, we want to get out of here. And he converts the extra point. So a 10-play, 44-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Luke gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And he's finally taken down at the 46-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clipping. Receiving team. Still first down. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Strike to his receiver, no good. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Central Michigan, 56, Eastern Michigan, 7. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year.